there's some Grinches out there. <laughs> First on Fox, a Brentwood mother says a Grinch stole her family's Christmas, and the same thing could happen to any of us. Really disappointing. She tried to sell diamond earrings online, but says the buyer scammed her. Only on Fox 17 tonight, Jen French tells us how easily this happened. The woman we spoke to is familiar with eBay and Craigslist. She has used PayPal several times before, but this particular buyer used a bogus PayPal. And she says she can't even get him to call her back. Robin Von Toggen made a list for her four sons. But there's one thing she wished she checked twice. Christmas is going to be tight this year. The mother decided to sell her $3,500 diamond earrings on Craigslist for Christmas cash. Well, I lost my job last month, and I'm a um, single mom, and I needed some money. One person offered her $2,900 through PayPal. The very next morning, I got a text. Von Toggen agreed to ship her earrings, but all of a sudden her buyer claimed PayPal charged him an extra $500 to hold his money. He asked Von Toggen to wire back the difference. That's when my red flag went up. She didn't wire anything and called PayPal. All she needed to hear was what the email actually said and and she said, I'm sorry, that's not us. Turns out the buyer made a bogus email account that looks exactly like PayPal's, except it's missing part of the logo. She tried calling the buyer, but learned the number he gave her only accepts text messages. She called Brentwood Police. I thought I was pretty on top of it. I've done a lot of online orders, a lot of Craigslist, PayPal and um, nev nothing has ever happened like this before. Now officers have added this accused scammer to the naughty list. Police want you to know if you plan on selling, be sure you get the money first before you ship out an item. Also, try to stick to certain websites like Amazon. Live in the newsroom, Jen French, Fox 17 News.